it's an unavoidable truth. <laughs> you are going to die. Now, I bring you good news. While death is inevitable, regrets are optional. But first, you have to embrace the fact that there is a terminal expiration date. And the best way to do that is to just make a little grid for yourself of what age did your mother pass away? What age did your father pass away? What age did each of your grandparents pass away? Because the greatest predictor for your lifespan is actually found in those six dates, how long your parents and grandparents lived. When you embrace that, then you begin to realize, okay, I am headed toward the end of the road at some point in my life. And as you head toward the end of the road, the funny thing about living in your fourth quarter is, get a load of this. As you age into your fourth quarter, the closer you get to realizing that you will have a meeting between the person you have become and the person you could have become. The person you have become and the person that you could have become. That's who meets at death. So why not take just a moment each day to have a conversation, to sit with the person that you could have become? to envision that person, and to begin in your fourth quarter to take the steps toward that, to narrow that gap between who you have become and who you could become. Death is inevitable, but the first step toward making sure that regrets are optional is to begin to think about that person you could have become and have that conversation each and every day.